I really want to know who this Cinnamon guy is. I don't know if I can wait any longer. Having said that, it's time for me. You already know the drill. <laughs> it's like that Chris Brown song, Look At Me Now. I don't know how you're going to hate outside the club. You can't even get in. Lines back there, buddy. Big guy in tonight? This is a one. <laughs> Make it quick, kid. Well, that was very generous. This boy ain't never seen nothing like that before. <laughs> well, I, I could use a favor. You won't regret it. Oh, he sounds like he means business. Joey Pledge. What is it you desire? So why is your gift desire? When I first went to angel school, they uh, sorted us into different houses for different powers. It's a school for angels? I was about to say, is he bullshitting right now? There's no way there's an education system for angels. I just don't believe it. No. <laughs> I help people do whatever or whomever they want. There isn't more to it? <laughs> Linda's like, that's very one note. Sorry. <laughs> Lieutenant Marcus, boy! You was MIA for a long time, my dude. Thank you. I wanted to request a personal day. What for? Well, it's personal. I didn't think it'd be an issue. It's good to see that he is still an asshole. Mm. Oh, what? Oh! -ho! I know. did this young man a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting that, man. <laughs> Damn. We got ourselves an episode right here. Jesus. Did the center man kill him or something? I never stopped granting favors, detective. His desire was to become the new godfather of Scarface for millennials. What? <laughs> Look at his legs, bro. Might it may be a commentary on the job that I got for you as a runner for the mob. Lucy, you effed up right now, man. Why is your power slowing down time? This is a good ass question. So I can slow down time and do his bidding without anyone being the wiser. I guess I was never told to avoid humanity. It just seemed easier. I never saw the point until recently. Yo. <laughs> My girl. No, I was going to say before the goat just entered the room that I feel like there's some sort of love thing going on with Linda and Amanda Dale. You know, there's no evidence to back up my claim, but damn it, they be having these long stares. And what the hell else you want me to assume? Oh, I missed you too, girl. <laughs> she was grabbing that ass. You guys catch up, huh? Yes. We're friends. What? Maze, don't tell me you're jealous. You can't be jealous of that. I thought we was all friends, man. Stop the bullshit. Sweet kicks indeed. Huh. Sorry I'm late. Charlotte! I quit my job. Oh yeah, that's right. Last episode, she quit her job. Today is my first day in the district attorney's office. I'm on your side now. Surprise. Is it weird for us to be friends? No, it's not. Of course not. I'll tell you what is weird. It's having sex with your patient. Linda knows about that. This is nowhere near that. Can't a woman be friends with a brilliant, tall, gorgeous angel? Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm here for her. Amanda Dale Linda, let's do it. Chill. Oh, shit. We're doing this right now? Ho, ho, ho. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, shit. I just thought of something. What is Mays going to think about this? Watch her bust into the room or something. Okay, probably not. I can't. Linda, you can, girl. Okay, I'm so sorry, Linda. Oh, damn. Don't be sorry, dog. <laughs> you know, I I've called a lot of things gangster. And I'm going to continue to keep calling things gangster. That was gangster. They were like, I'm sorry. Ha! Ah! Psych! Lucifer, we got another body. Let's go. Bro, why does this episode feel like a season finale? What the fuzz noodles? Who is that? I did her a favor two years ago. Jesus Christ, this isn't bro. Just a we need to find the man who did this and punish him. It was the cinnamon, bro. Who's sending them? What 
they trying to say? It's the Sinner Man. The real reason I started granting favors again was because of the Sinner Man. Bam! What'd I tell you? I'm gonna need proof that this guy is real. Oh, he is real. And very dangerous. Lieutenant. His or I ran into him in Chicago. I couldn't get my hands on him. Worry. Okay. Lucifer, where are you going? Who was calling his phone? Um, do you even care what he's about to say? Of course I do. It's just that my current problem is important. What is it? Did <sighs> Sorry, just... <laughs> Tell him, I'm not interested. So really? Yo, is this the first time we're hearing the center man's voice? I just put on my beastie boys and powered through. Uh-oh, Decker. I see you staring at Clark Kent, girl. Where's Lucifer? You need help? I mean, I'm free. Um, I'm okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Charlotte. Really? I'm sensing something. I've been thinking about that. I, I'm actually gonna take Charlotte. She's perfect for this. Wow. You need me, detective? Sure do. No, Let's we go. don't. But, come along anyway. Who is the center man, bro? Who the hell is this dude? In here. The hell? I swear, if the center man's like some sort of invisible entity, I'm gonna be pissed off, bro. Well play. The hell? Likewise, I express myself through my work. Thought that was Mike Epps. I got you good. Yes, indeed you did. How did you return my wings and steal my face? Want to do your little desire stick? I don't have time for parlor tricks. I will find out what you really want. I'm going to use it to destroy you. I'm right here, pal. No! Wow. And look, I want to believe that this change of heart is for real. You're going to have to earn that trust back. I wonder if she's going to give up just trying to be a perfect person. Uh, it's turned into a stakeout, but why? So I brought food. Marcus! He's been acting like a player this episode, okay? Mace! I ask you to talk, and you blow me off? The cinema have me trapped here! <laughs> what an unfortunate situation. Did you know that Linda and Amanda Deal are a thing? Linda and Amanda Deal are doing what now? <laughs> right, you do realize that talking in her office is literally Linda's job? Interesting point. Unless you're still hot for Angel. No. no. She's just my best friend, and he's my ex. Ask yourself what you truly desire. The man crossed paths in Chicago. This is personal, isn't it? The sinner man killed my brother. Oh, shit. But I need to find him and make him pay. The anniversary of my father's death is coming up. Rest in peace, Mr. Decker. It's effed up how he got killed. What did you do? I did the right thing. She should have killed his ass. Think about what you really want. I swear, if Marcus gets shot or something, right? Okay, I was about to say. That's not a source. That's him. Oh shit! Man, this episode is crazy as hell right now. Oh shit. Safely. But this is so much fun. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. He is in season 10 of The Walking Dead, bro. Come on, Decker. Kill his ass. Oh. Pull that trigger, boy. It took a lot to not pull that trigger, man. I guess I just think differently than everybody else. <laughs> but dog, that dude killed your brother, bro? And you don't pull the trigger? You did it. You got the cinema. It's too easy, though, bro. Oh, shit. I want to talk to him. Oh, he already planned his escape, bro. Oh, shit. Bro, if... Yo, if Linda is having sex with Amanda Dill, <laughs> I hope that's not happening. For this scene's sake. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go. What's up? Because you're acting kind of strange. She was doing something in there. I thought it was weird. 
seeing you and Amenadu. Maze, you don't smell the sex in the air, girl? I came to tell you how I feel. She's like, yo, I wanted to whoop Amanadale's ass. <laughs> You're my best friend. It makes me feel left out. I don't want you two getting together, if that's possible. I guess I inferred this the wrong way. Initially, I felt like it was a combination of both things that Maze was more so jealous of both Amanadale and Linda. But it seems as if, though, she's more jealous of the fact that Linda is with Amanadale. You know me. I was all over that angel. I touched nerves that he never knew he had. Maze is like, yo, listen, I took Amanadale places that he ain't never seen before. <laughs> no one expects you to change overnight. Look, I screw up too. Oh, he screwed up bad. I made plenty of mistakes, believe me. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, he did. I wanted to slap the shit out of him in season one. I bet you that's not him. What was the purpose of unlocking the freaking chains? The, the handcuffs? Get to it, shall we? Look into my eyes! You'll never know what I want. Honestly, that is the best episode of the season so far jesus take the wheel so much in this episode that i loved bro oh my god where do i start um linda and amanda deal a thing hell yes may's feeling alone it makes me sad to see her go through some shit like that but you know it's a good storyline damn it chloe looking at marcus i mean chloe looking at marcus like marcus is a piece of steak or something Dan and Charlotte coming around? I mean, bro, what the? This episode was golden. But obviously, the highlight of this damn episode, the cinnamon telling Lucifer like, yo, you ain't gonna know what I want. I'm taking these eyeballs out of my sockets. This is only episode nine, man. This ain't no damn mid-season finale. So I'm interested in seeing if they gonna top this, man. Because this episode right here, shit. This wasn't no freaking episode to be messed with. That's my reaction. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Peace out.